This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control. Coming up on three minutes, 50 seconds. Mark, T minus three minutes, 50 seconds and counting. We are go for launch. The countdown now turned over to the control of the launch vehicle test conductor for the last four minutes of the count. We'll go on an automatic sequence starting at three minutes and seven seconds. Final communications checks now in progress uh, between the spacecraft test conductor and the crew aboard the spacecraft. Some final checks in progress at this time. We have the report that we are clear for firing command. That is the automatic sequencer that should come in in about 15 seconds. From that time on down, all aspects of the mission will be automatic, monitored uh, by uh, the computers here in the control center and at the pad. 310, we have firing command. Launch sequence start. The computer is in. The sequence is in at this time. Mark, T minus three minutes. T minus three minutes and counting. Our preparation is now complete. Already lights are on here in the control center. During this period, the various uh, propellant tanks aboard the three stages of the Saturn V will be pressurizing. Primarily, we use helium on the ground to pressurize these tanks. The various vent valves will close uh, as the countdown proceeds. We've now passed uh, two, two minutes, 35 seconds and counting. All still going well. Two minutes, 30 seconds. We should be getting an indication on pressurization of the third stage. We have it uh, here in the control center. Two minutes, 20 seconds and counting. The third stage now is pressurized. We'll be looking toward those uh, five engines in the first stage of the Saturn V. Uh, the ignition sequence to start at the 8.9 second mark in the countdown. We're now coming up on the two minute mark. Mark, T-minus two minutes and counting. T-minus two, all aspects of the mission still go at this time. The Apollo 9 crew standing by in the spacecraft. One minute, 50 seconds and counting. Once the ignition sequence does begin with the five engines, it'll take some uh, nine seconds or so to build up the proper thrust. Uh, the computers will automatically sample those engines and assure ourselves that we have 95% of the thrust. We will get a commit at that time and the four hold-on arms will come back. We're now 90 seconds and counting, 90 seconds and counting. Vice President Agnew now has come up to the window here in the Launch Control Center along with members of the party to view the launch. One minute, 20 seconds and counting. All indications are we are still go at this time. Third stage uh, propellant tanks have been pressurized. Final check uh, of several panels by Lunar Module Pilot Rusty Swikert. Second stage tanks now pressurized. Schweikert uh, confirms that he has the proper readings. One minute and counting. T minus 55 seconds and counting. All still going well. We're coming up on the power transfer. Mark, 50 seconds and counting. We're now on internal power uh, with the three stages and instrument unit of the Saturn V. Uh, all uh, propellant tanks in the second stage now pressurized. 35 seconds and counting. The vehicle now completely pressurized. The vents closed. We are go. 30 seconds and counting. T minus 25 seconds and counting. All aspects still go at this time as the computer monitors. 20 seconds. Guidance release 15, 14, 15, 12, 11, 10, 9. We have ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engines running. Commit liftoff. We have liftoff at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Roll Plus 17. Pitch program is in. Roll and pitch program are in now put Apollo 9 on the proper flight, azimuth, and attitude. Half a mile high. Roll is complete.
go on the second stage. Downrange 70 miles now, 42 miles high, 9,300 feet per second velocity. Standing by for tower jet is now the launch escape tower. Tower jet confirmed. Gene Cran's taking another status check. 